Yay! NFA TV, here we go! Here we go! Yeah, on the road! What do you reckon, Saxon? Yeah. He don't look very happy. You happy? No, he's just on the road. Hey, NFA TV, here we go!
Spikes ever played with us. This is literally another practice <laughs> like last night. And yeah, thank you, Spike. Yeah. Are you ready? Josh is going to start and I'll follow him because he's, uh, he's setting a pace today. We're setting a pace, Josh. We're just a jockey set. Let's go, 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 let's go
Okay, welcome to the show. Uh, this part of the show, we're going to have a chat with these guys. These guys are the Clown Jewels. Um, they done an absolute blinding set for us last night. Absolutely mind blowing. Very, very exciting air manipulation of music, really. And it's it's great to see you three all together. So, ladies and gentlemen, the Clown Jewels. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, not that good. so you, you're quite busy in your own trip. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> so you're quite busy in your own lives doing your own kind of separate things and now you've just come together as this dimension of the clown jewels and it's a very, very... <laughs> I'll, I'll, get, I'll get the door. <laughs> <laughs> Me knickers! Me knickers! <laughs> That's probably my mother. Yeah. That's that producer. It's bringing me lunch around. Wiener in! <laughs> so you were saying? Okay, uh, right, where do we go? He was just, he was just saying, he was just saying how brilliant we were. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, we were taking it from where, um, where, where we were. <laughs> so, you all do independent. <laughs> <laughs> Taxi for Mr. Steve! Taxi for Mr. Steve! <laughs> <laughs> the master of the house, he couldn't even get in. It's George's house and he couldn't get in. 
Oh, there we go. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so you all do. <laughs> Iceless. Yeah. Can we start? Brilliant. Right. So, you so you all do uh, your own things in music, and you've all got together to make this dimension, which is the Clown Jewels. Uh, you also are doing different projects as well. Uh, I found it very exciting what you're doing. Uh, as I said straight after your gig, if, if I was a record company, I'd, I'd snap you up tomorrow because you are. It, it's very exciting. Anyway, apart from the Clown Jewels, you also do a thing which is called Clownfest, which Mark, I believe, does. So, Mark, can you tell us a bit about Clownfest? Well, Clownfest uh, came about because of lockdown. Uh, as soon as lockdown hit, I knew I wasn't going to be uh, productive in any way. Yeah. Um, and so I uh, decided to showcase artists. And I've also noticed that live streams, like they're doing eight, nine hours live streams, but it's like nine DJs in that. Yeah. So I split it down into 20 minute sets. Uh, it means you don't get bored, and uh, and if you don't like an act, then the next act on is only going to be 20 minutes away. You know, keeps, keeps the pace up. Keeps really the pace really up, keeps it going. Yeah, yeah. very excited. Yeah. And you're also working on the idea now of bringing Clown Fest as an outdoor festival, yeah, absolutely. music festival. Festival. Yeah, we're on the we're on the seventh uh, live stream uh, festival at the moment. Uh, seven, eight days this time around, 120 artists. Uh, we're there as the Clang Jewels. Warren is there as the War Minstrel, and Dog House is there as Dog House as well. So, yeah. try to get as many people involved. You know, 120 artists over yeah. the over the eight days. Um, this is really good work. Yeah, we're really, really, really good work. Really yeah, good yeah, work. Brain Sniffer yeah. as well. Brain yeah. Sniffer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, if, if we'd known this guy beforehand as well, we could have been yeah, there. Yeah, well, rea yeah. reality attack, yeah, there you go. Reality attack, <laughs> maybe get, get on the camera. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Hello, handsome out there. <laughs> <laughs> so, wicked, it's all exciting then. Yeah. Really, mm. really, really exciting. Well done, guys, and thanks for coming to NFA TV. It's absolutely been amazing. Amazing to see you all get it together and the way you've done it. Spot on, spot on. Well, this is only like our fifth together practice, like at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> we've been in a room like five times and made music before. Mm. It's Jason, Jason was saying last night that you, you know you're just literally throwing this together, yeah. and I was like, when I was obviously listening to what you were doing, I thought that you've been doing it together for years nah. secretly, and you've just brought this secret weapon forward. It's, it's all, it's know. all, it's all down to Warren. Literally, it is. Warren yeah. is our sound engineer. He is the air manipulator. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, yeah, we all got our own parts to play, haven't we? Yeah. That's yeah. the thing. We've got our own parts to play. I mean, you are, it, um, when you're really right in there on the technical side of making a song, some of the things that are hard to do, one well, main things are hard to do, is, is keep the flow going properly. And sometimes you can be, you know, I get lost. Like, like lost in it. And Mark yeah. say you need to change that and do this, yeah. that. Bring yeah. it back, you know. The and and, um, that's the way you work as a band. Yeah. A lot, yeah, a lot of the times with, yeah. with like dance music, it's a really simple one. <laughs> you know, you just basically chuck loads of rides on it. So okay. if, <laughs> yeah. Seriously, that's true. Yeah, yeah. So you've got like, you've got something chucking along, chuck along and it's getting a bit boring, you just have a bit switch, quick switch back and just throw loads of open, yeah, yeah, right yeah. crushy sort of rides going over it all. Oh, amazing. Call, you know? so, really, I mean, really good sound. But then that's what Mark, but Mark brings together that arrangement side of it, um, and obviously, I mean, Dog has his vocals. I mean, oh, J J I, so, vocals. so, yeah, yeah. yeah, like I was um, saying, like, uh, they do a track, uh, it it's together. called Rib Cage, and that's uh, absolutely blinder. And there's this later, later song they do in the set, which is you were saying it was called earlier. Tune um, out, tune out, look and scent, yeah. Absolutely mind well, blowing. Almost, we did that almost, almost one take, didn't put we? you we into this it. first take. Yeah. We yeah. did recorded it first take on YouTube. We had a basic beat, mm. sort of like a was it a dubstep beat? Was wasn't it like yeah. a wobble wobble beat sort of thing? Yeah. No um, words, five minutes. No words, yeah. and then I did neutron. I was just <laughs> messing a bit of the filter on the neutron, recording that at the same time. Um, but there was, I knew it was something special. Edited it later. Yeah. Um, and then I think it's when the strings go on the last, the last yes. two verses that yeah. kind of like, and like, like people saying the airs on the back of their yeah, 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 well that's how I that, that, that is yeah. how I start so that. Nice. You get that. It, it, if you can move yeah. people with music, that's pretty cool. Yeah. It made me cry. <laughs> 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 yeah. I almost got out my lighter, <laughs> but they done me almost. for arsonry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wicked. All right, well, thanks anyway, guys. Thanks for coming to the yeah, NFA yeah, TV. Pleasure. Um, happy Solstice, happy Christmas yeah. to you out there from the Crown Jewels and, and, and Kevin. Yeah. 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 We are brains here. You're all in trouble.
nation of Oklahoma. I'm also Kerry Sue. I'm mixed blood. Happened to find myself in the festival scene doing all sorts of things and I thought that I would share some prophecy with you. Uh, 
I was born in Oklahoma, Okla, people, Homa, read the end of the Trail of the Tears, if you know about that. Um, there's stories from all kinds of different nations, and uh, there's some prophecies about the black snake, which is what I want to share with you today. And uh, it was prophesied uh, that when the non-native people showed up, certain things would happen. It would go one or two ways. And in one way, uh, there was going to be spiders' webs all over the earth, and that is the train lines in the industrial system that you see now. And then to follow was to be these black snakes that would arrive and poison the waters. And so now we have the pipelines. We've had uh, Standing Rock in the news, and uh, we've got Keystone, and we've got hashtag Stop Line 3 going on, uh, where pipelines are being put on sovereign uh, treaty land, uh, where they're not welcome because they didn't want to put them through golf courses somewhere else. Uh, but a uh, community of people are getting really hurt and so is the planet and I think we all know this and I think it's time for change and that is to do with the black snake. So behind me you can see some information about the black snake prophecy. So, I am a storyteller and I thought that I would share a story about a snake. So, when you are in your adolescence and you're an indigenous person you might go on a journey for a few days, as this one lad did. And he decided that he was going to face the mountain. And at the bottom of the mountain was a snake. And the snake, he wasn't looking too good. And he said to the boy, hey, can you take me to the top of the mountain with you? I'm dying. I want to go to the top of the mountain, meet Creator, and feel the sun on my face. The boy said, you're a snake. How do I know I can trust you? I'm not that stupid. And the snake said, but I'm dying. Please, just take me with me, with you. It's my last words, I'm dying. I want to see creator in all my colors. Put me in your bag. So the boy picked him up and he put him in his bag. He said, you better be telling the truth. And he went up to this mountain and he spent time thinking about what he was going to be with his life, what he was going to do. And he took the snake out of the bag and the snake jumped up and bite him. And he went, hey, but you promised you weren't going to get me. He said, but I'm a snake. <laughs> <laughs> we need to know what's good and bad in our lives sometimes. And sometimes we need to trust that power that's inside of ourselves and we all have that. It's no law written on paper. There is a law of the earth. We are of the earth. We are not a virus to the earth. We are part of the earth and we need to react. It's the first time to react for some people and let's do it. Maybe that's good Christmas wish is to help save our children's children's children. They say seven generations of children's 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 children. children. How will they live? So anyway, I have another story for you, and it's about marigold. Has any of you seen any marigolds? It's a little orange flower. It used to be a lot taller because it was a lot more full of poison. And none of the grasses or the animals would go anywhere around it because it was so full of poison. So marigold called out one day, Abamiko, Abamiko, please, can you take this poison away from me? Abamiko thought about it and said, I'll cut you a deal. So the deal is, by the time the sun comes down tonight, I will give you three chances to give away your poison. I'm going to stop having a cup of tea whilst I'm telling you this story. So, the snake, the marigold, sorry, she called out to everybody and she said, Hey, everybody, I've got this poison. If you could really use this poison, protect yourself and your family, come ahead and get some. Nothing moved anywhere. The grass didn't even move. There was no sound to be heard in the trees. Just silence. Oh, hey everyone, I've got this poison. I could really, if you could really use this poison, to take yourself to family, come ahead and get some. Nothing. But eventually, there was a move in the grass and a snake showed up. Not him, he's a star three later. The 
poison. He said, up. And he said, hey, I heard you got that poison. I could really do that poison to protect myself and my family. Please, may I have some? America thought about it and said, well, if you can cut me a deal that you will tell people before you get them with that poison, then I'll give it to you. He said, yeah, I'm a nice kind of snake. What's the deal? Well, the poison. So I'm going to shake my tail. So when I shake my tail, sh 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 they will know that I'm about ready to get them. He said, yeah, I think that's a great idea. She gave him the poison. He said, yeah, cookie, thank you. And he went off and he protected his family. And so she called out again. Hey, everybody, I've got this poison. If you could use this poison to protect yourself and your family, come ahead and get some. Nothing but then another wiggle in the blood for us. And along came another snake. He said, hey, I had got this poison. I could really use this poison to help myself my family. Please, can I have some? She said, yes, as so long as you can cut me a deal, which is, you're going to tell somebody before you get them with that poison. He thought, how can I do that? So he thought, I know, if I cock my head back like that and I open up my mouth and I show them that poison inside my mouth, they'll know I'm about ready to get them. He said, yeah, it seems like a good kind of deal. She gave him the poison. He said, yeah, cookie, thank you. And off he went to go and protect his family. <laughs> and he is the cotton mouth snake. And the first one is the rattlesnake. Shh, shh, shh. So then she calls out as it's getting dark, hey everyone, I got this poison, if you could use this poison to protect yourself and your family, come ahead and get some. And along came another snake. He said, oi, I heard you got that poison, give it to me now. She said, you know what, I really don't like your attitude actually, I think I'm going to give somebody else a chance. He said, well you can if you want, but I've already gone and told everybody that you give me the poison away, so there's just no point. She said, well, I'm just going to try. He sat there to the side. She called out, hey, everyone, I've got this poison. If you could use this poison to protect yourself and your family, come ahead and get some. Nothing. After a while, the snake said, you're going to give me that poison or what? She said, you know it's against my better nature, but I'll give it to you. But will you cut me a deal? What's the deal? Then you've got to show that you're going to get them with the poison before you do. He said, I'm not going to give them any kind of warning. I'm a snake. She gave him the medicine anyway and the poison and off he went and he didn't have any pleases or thank yous or anything and he didn't keep the promise so that's his promise is that he's going to get you when you see him. So he's the small black dwarf snake in the open plains. But anyway, the sun was coming down and Marigold called up, Abamiko, Abamiko, got rid of my three lots of poison, have I done it in time? We take all the poison out of me now so I can have friends. Abimiko doesn't do anything for no reason. He said, Mary God, I see your heart. I see how you would like to connect with everybody. You will be the best friend of everybody. And when you see indigenous people, sometimes we wear a medicine bag. I got one of my beads that my medicine man made me. It's small so it moves around. But in this medicine bag, there's different herbs. And some might put marigold in there. Because Marigold, she's the cure to the three snake bites in the story. So the first one is the rattlesnake, the second one is the cottonmouth, and the third one was the small black dwarf snake in that kind of pain. So you rub a little bit of Marigold on those bites, and she'll be your best friend, and she'll cure you too. So, nature, it's a great thing, huh? Yay!
can do it what the news has got Money in his wallet, put his pocket, he don't pay a tree If the tax man is a hell and then he'll make him go away Cause he's got lots of lawyers to make sure that he don't pay, yeah? Yeah, 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 Oh, you're 
this car Since you ran up, up, up the hurts my mind gets up Then something stops in my head, my thoughts are wrong I wanna cut you up with a hundred million clothes And don't forget you heard it from me in this song Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's there, it was on the free Wow, come on, come on.
Hey, this is the Noise Factory. Big up NFA, NFA TV. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, we are on it. And I've got another song. My husband and I have endured a 72 year same sex marriage. After 72 years of the same sex, I'm on the gin. I would particularly like to thank my loyal subjects, including Boris Johnson, for throwing such cracking parties. Um, you should have explained I brought the wrong Charlie, but I'd also like to thank our lovely government for killing so many old people this year. It really does make my life easier handing out those 100 year birthday cards. Arthritis is you know, terrible. This time of year, people start to think they're getting a knighthood. People like Adele. Cheer up, you skinny bint, you're rich. I have to put up with 14 million pounds a year in benefits. My house, Buckingham Palace, is owned by Westminster Council. They want to come and paint it all Magnolia, you know. Life isn't easy. I won't go into too much detail, but I hate you, Megan! You bastard! You've ruined my family! I would particularly like to thank those lovely boys at NFA TV, Clown Fest, the Clown Jewels, everybody involved. Keep it up, chaps. Keep away from those dodgy brain sniff boys. Good evening, brothers and sisters. We are the Clown Jewels, and this song is dedicated to our glorious leader, Bobo Johnson.
that's that one then. Eh? What's your name? Where are you from? And what are you doing? My name's Steve. I come from Liverpool and I'm really boys. Lovely smashing shirt. <laughs>
late.
Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, ye
just thinking about that and now and it's all that one. Huh? Oh, good. Yeah. I like it, it's nice. But like, no consent. No consent. Should not go.
this one, guys. Thank you very much. Yay! Da 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 da. No face, no case, no gain, no name, no shame, no blame, no gain. No face, no case, no in this place, what you gonna say? No face, no case, no gain, no shame, no name, no blame, no gain. All around the world, everybody go. No ball games. Into nature, you better not hate her. Instigator, tell you later. Into nature, you better not hate her. No ball games, no ball games.